Hey everyone, welcome to the Cast and Spirit Podcast. My name is John, and today we have back on the show Captain Ben Choi. Today we are going to be talking about spearfishing gear, especially around scuba spearfishing down in Florida. Welcome back to the show, Ben. Hey, thanks for having me back. Perfect, so let's dive deep and talk a little bit. I think yesterday you talked a little bit about free shaft guns, you know, not using any kind of real line or float line when you're down at depth scuba diving. So can you go a little bit what that entails? Yeah, for sure. Um, so when we say we free shaft, we have typically a rear handle um, gun, you know, between 48 to 60 inches. Um, I don't really know what that equates in centimeters, you know, but they're all usually American mech with shark fin tabs. Um, most of the guys that I know, you know, run track guns um, with with closed muzzles. Um, I, I personally use an open muzzle, um, but you know, that's just small details, but you know, they'll, they'll use single or double band guns. Uh, most of them are wood, rear handles, most guys hip load, eye chest load. Um, but the free shaft guns have extra shaft holders on them. That's what make them unique. Um, there's, you know, usually two or three shafts on a gun. So you have the one in the track and then usually, you know, either one or two extra shafts to have when you're down there. Um, so the thing about free shaft spear fishing is that you better, you know, pick your shots pretty well have a good backboard when you when you shoot um so that you know you don't blow through the fish um with that being said you know scuba spearfishing you have a little bit more time on the bottom so you can wait for the fish to give you the right shot so you can stone the fish um but it's just a lot more efficient when you have these free shafts so that you know you, you can just throw another shaft you know in the track reload and, and shoot another fish um so that you can maximize your time on the bottom how many shafts do you guys lose in a day? Uh, hopefully not that many because they're not that cheap nowadays. You know, when I started, you know, a shaft, a new shaft was what, $35 and now they're like $60. <laughs> yeah. And you guys just use a standard single flopper or? Yeah. Single flopper. Um, usually I use shark fin tabs, American mech, um, 54 to 60 inch shafts. Okay. Um, and then you were talking about, you know, wood guns. Do you guys have any specific brand is common down there that you guys like? Or uh, I, I use a lot of custom guns, but a lot of the guys down here like Ocean Rhino. Um, the gun that I just had, his name is Matt. Uh, his The spear gun name is Death From Above. Um, if you want to check him on Instagram, it's DFA Spear Guns. On Instagram, he has some gorgeous, gorgeous guns, um, gorgeous wood guns. What a cool name. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty cool. Matt's a great dude. Um, he makes gorgeous, really, really functional spear guns. And then why do you think guys like the closed muzzle more? I know you use open, but is it just for speed? Yeah, so they there's a style of reloading here that they call commercial. It's commercial muzzle is what they call it. Um, but basically, you backload the shaft through the closed muzzle from behind, so closer to you, and then you let the shaft slide back into the mechanism. So it's a little bit faster than like trying to thread the shaft into the hole of the closed muzzle and trying to line everything up. Um, it just it just works out a little bit easier. I guess that only works if you don't have if if you have a free shaft without the the tether. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about scuba gear. Um, is it just the standard aqua lung kind of BCDs, all that kind of whatever you would just go to a scuba shop is what you use, or do you have special stuff for spearfishing? I don't think there's anything special. Uh, I think, you know, certain BCs are better. Um, I like a really low profile BC. It doesn't take up a lot of drag on the water so you can chase down fish. Um, I dive a back plate and wing personally. Um, but you know, a lot of people here use steel tanks as well, um, versus aluminum tanks so that you don't have to wear any extra weight with you. Um, also you get more air in a steel tank than a aluminum tank, you know, relatively compared to size because you can overpressurize them and stuff like that um so yeah that that's an advantage um i personally don't wear a octo uh, i just think it just gets tangled up with everything else um but you know that that's more of a comfort level kind of thing as you get more comfortable scuba spear fishing then you can determine what gear works for you what gear doesn't work for you um but i think more low profile um bcs not those big poofy ones for you know looking at corals and whatever else in your vacation in Cozumel. Um, also, you know, like high, I would say the higher end stuff, um, 
is probably better since you know especially if you're going to the depths of you know 150 180 feet 180 feet you want you want something that's gonna hold up pretty well to to constant use and then regarding like fins or masks do you have anything that you like more than others that you've tested out in case somebody wants to check them out yeah i mean i i use you know low profile masks um whatever mask fits your face i i i come from a free diving background so i've taken a lot of that with me um I see a lot of spear fishermen who scuba dive use those split, split fins. Um, I personally, and a lot of the guys that I did with, dive with, use free dive fins, long Cressy Gara 2000s, the plastic free dive fins for spear fishing, because you can just really chase down a fish a lot better. Just so much more power coming out of them. Um, so that that's that's a unique uh, you know advantage I think that a lot of people don't really realize that we use free dive fins for scuba spear fishing. Do you have a special dive computer that you like? Do you use like a Sunto or something? The Shearwater Perdix. Um, it's it's a pretty high higher end dive computer. Um, a lot of the other dive computers will lock you out if you don't you know, do the proper deco stop or the proper safety stop. Um, these dive computers, you can customize your dive profile. Um, there's just so much more you can torque with them. Uh, their their algorithm is way better. It's way more realistic um, than a lot of the other dive computers. So and anything Shearwater is, is really good. Awesome. And then you are talking about guns before, and you were saying you used rear handle. Do any guys use mid-handle for anything, or is it just uh, pretty much I, I all rear? Any guys in the Gulf or even in Florida who use uh, rear handle, uh, mid-handles. You know, I think a majority of everybody here uses rear handle guns. Um, rear handle wood guns not even you know like a pipe gun like a like a rob or, or like a mares or something like that a lot of guys just use rear handle you know wood guns i know a lot of the guys with scuba spearfish here like the, to hip load um like i said i like the chest load just because i started free diving it's what what i'm used to um but i just don't think the the use of a mid handle is it's just not as efficient i think for what we do um, especially when we're free shafting on scuba. And then when you load with your chest, do you have your palms up or your palms down? Palms up. Yeah. Nice. You want the bicep. Because I, I know uh, my buddy Brian Fern, he's Uncle Know You How. He ha asked that question. He's like, What do you guys do? And I'm like, A lot of times I thought I was doing my palms down, just using that back muscle. But I. Yeah. I was like, depending on the size of the gun, if it's a bigger gun, I do flip my palms over. I was testing it in the water. It's all muscle memory now, but I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I never had that question before. That's weird, yeah. Not, not too weird to think about it. Not a weird question. It's just weird to think about, like, now I'm trying to actually, now, now I'm thinking. I think I, I still think I could do palms up. And then I like for chest loading, especially with the longer gun, I like to hold the band and then kind of, kind of, in a like a arcing motion like you kind of like lock it and then it's like okay cool and then you you pull um i don't know i think it is definitely easier palms up when you do a hip loading just because you, you your hands are down anyways it's mm. all it's all interesting <laughs> something yeah. to think about when you go out in the in the water you've done it a gazillion times yeah i don't think it would be very efficient for us to have like a scuba gun that's too long that you couldn't just you know reach the bands like right away like you wouldn't have to torque it because that, that like I have, you know, big blue water guns that I have to do that free diving with. It just takes a lot longer to, to load. Here's one other question. You're free shafting. You shoot a fish. You don't stone it. Do you ever have a big fish just take your shaft and you're like, shit. Yeah, I, I just, this weekend uh, I was diving this tournament. I had a, a 30 to 35 pound gag. It would have won the tournament by over 10 pounds. Um, I had I shot him and I heard him good and I had really good shot saw the shaft go all the way through you know he flared his gills out like like they do when you hurt him really well a lot of blood came out and then he just swam off into the into the viz and where I couldn't I could I swam around for the next 10 minutes trying to find him but I couldn't find him I guess my question would be is there any like hybrid method where you can keep something that's a like quick detach but it keeps it on your gun but you can just like flick something and then like if you stoned it you don't need it you just pop it off and you put you can load something else or is it just too much time uh so the closest thing that i think we've had to that is what we call a quick release and it's a slide ring that goes over your flopper 
Um, but you know, even then, that takes I'd say ten seconds if you're really good mm. to, to get it all rigged up. You know, um, just not realistic if you want to keep if you want to shoot that gag that's spooky and not going to sit there for ten seconds while you <laughs> slip the slide ring and run the line through the line holder and everything like that. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely oh, i think that's a perfect place for us to stop here i think i learned a ton but i had no clue on the whole scuba spearfishing thing this is super enlightening so guys tomorrow we're going to be talking a lot about commercial spearfishing something i also have no clue about and i can't wait to hear what ben has to say about that so thanks for coming on the show ben thanks see you tomorrow Hey, one more thing before you go. Are you looking for other folks who like to catch fish? Well, if you are, join our free fish catchers group on Discord, just like a little club, just with like-minded people who like to catch fish, share knowledge. Just head over to castandspear.com forward slash club for a link and it'll go straight over there. Whether you like to spear fish, surf fish, kayak fish, you name it. If you just like to catch fish, we want to chat. All right, see you guys in there.